Kerry McIver. Hi, Jules. Hi, hi, Kerry. Um, yeah, so I'd probably like to come from a, a slightly different angle. I'll, I'll perhaps just tell you the personal background first and then explain what my view is on it. Okay. I was um, I was pro-vaccine and um, I had a six, you know, six-week-old baby, my baby, and um, took him along, as all new mothers do, and uh, had vaccines in about... Say about an hour after the vaccines, he um, he woke up screaming, and basically for two days he turned into a floppy rag doll with a high pitched, shrill moan. Um, his brain was swelling, and um, I was terrified that I was going to lose him. Mm-hmm. And so that led me to go on a journey. Um, I will say I've got a, a first-class honours degree in psychology and a postgrad. Um, I know how to read articles and research. Um, and so I went on a journey and I decided before I would proceed any further to research both sides. I did that and my conclusion was not to vaccinate ever again. But I'm not going to argue that point because I don't think anyone can, I can't convince anyone. But what I will say is when I went along to the doctor, I was given a brochure and um, everything was hunky-dory, uh, all the positives, no information at all about the statistics on the risks, no information on what was in the vaccine, no information on all of the articles. I know you quoted that guy who was debunked, but mm. there's actually heaps out there in support of the adverse effects. Um, there is hundreds of scientists around the world who have written articles. So mothers need to be given both sides of the coin to read before they go ahead. And that's called informed consent. When I was a new mum, Kerry, it was not informed consent. I was naive. I was a young mother. Mm-hmm. I didn't even think about it. So, Did you know, your pre- GP ever say to you that there are some children that shouldn't be vaccinated? No. Mm-hmm. There was no history of that right. adverse reaction in my family. Right. But I, I would say that once a child reacts the um, likelihood of them reacting worse the second time is far greater. Yeah. So in other words, if I would have gone ahead, he probably would have been permanently brain damaged. And there's a gen- genetic link as well, so further children carry risks. So I just feel, my opinion out there to mums who are listening, um, do your own homework, make your own mind up, research it so it is informed consent, because you won't get that information from your doctor or from the health professionals in New Zealand. It's um, sad, but true. Thank you very much for taking the time to call, and a very considered call it was too.